What is good guys, back here with another YouTube video, and in case you cannot tell by the title below, this video will be a video where I share my thoughts, my opinions on this wacky weird world of professional wrestling for myself personally. Today's video I've kind of uh, had uh, wanted to do a while back, probably like two weeks ago, but I figured I would wait uh, till now, and that is Adam Page should definitely win the AEW World Championship, hopefully sooner rather than later. And I just want to say, I've seen clips of uh, his match against Brian Cage at the opening match of the main card of the pay-per-view for AEW's Double or Nothing. And I, from what I've seen, it was a really good match. Then again, it was like 15 seconds here, 30 seconds here, or whatever on Twitter uh, type of deal and whatnot. So uh, that match or the clips I've seen pretty much made me want to do this video that much more. This has nothing to do really with Brian Cage, but Adam Page is amazing. I being a little bit of a truth, being a fan, supporter, mark, whatever terminology you would want to use, since like 20, I think it was 2013, 2014 for sure when him, Adam Page, uh, Tadarius Thomas, Jimmy Jacobs, Roderick Strong, and BJ Whitmer were in a group called The Decade in Ring of Honor. And I remember seeing out of Paige and Tadarius Thomas as the young guys, the young lions, the newbies uh, type of deal and whatnot. Like, hey, this Adam Page guy, he, again, no disrespect to Tadarius Thomas, he has something that I like as a solo guy, eventually hopefully winning the TV or even the world championship in Ring of Honor, that did not happen. Eventually his contract ended in, I think it was 2018 if I remember right, and uh, went to AEW and whatnot. And like I said, ever since 2014, I've been a fan, supporter, Mark of Adam Page, and I've wanted to see him as a singles champion since probably 2015. 15, where I thought, hey, this guy has something type of deal and whatnot. And the reason why I want to see him as AEW World Champion, besides being a fan and whatnot, is because he has something that I want to cheer more for, or the casual fan wants to cheer Adam Page for. Because contrary to popular belief, I don't watch a lot of AEW. I would watch uh, some bits and pieces of Dynamite here and there. I would watch Dark, depending on which indie wrestler's on uh, that week's episode. Same with the other show that they had on YouTube, or still have, I guess, and whatnot. Like the ones on Mondays, I forget what's, I'm blanking on the name. Uh, but either way, Adam Page is legitimately my favorite to watch that is currently under contract with AEW. He is really good in the ring, really good on the mic. You could argue underrated on both, but people know how good he is in both uh, respects. And he is, I think, 29, almost 30 years old. He was born in, like, July, I think, of 91. So he's not even 30 years old yet, and he is one of those guys, along with a couple of other people on their roster, that you can definitely build a company around, but guys, in my opinion, like MJF and Jungle Boy aren't quite there yet, so to speak, compared to Adam Page, which I don't blame them. Page has more experience in the ring at, I think, 13 years, if I remember right. Uh, and whatnot, and Adam Page, he is one of those guys, like, he honestly got, again, from what I've seen, one of the biggest, one of the most consistent pops during Double or Nothing, uh, and that was a full crowd, granted, the first, I think, full crowd for AEW since March of 2020, so might have just popped for the first face uh, that came out and whatnot, but Adam Page, like I said, you can build a company around for a solid, what, five, seven years type of deal, and by that time, MJF would probably be ready. Jungle Boy either would be ready or almost ready for that top-tier push and whatnot. And this has, again, nothing to do with Kenny Omega, Tadarius Thomas, Brian Cage type of deal, but... Kenny Omega is a really good heel, really good on the mic, really good in the ring. 
but who would I rather see as champion by the end of the year, December 31st, 2021? Honestly, Adam Page, which I don't know for sure if I would have said, like, when AEW started uh, type of deal. Like, I would have thought Kenny Omega, I would enjoy his reign, joy, his championship uh, defenses, wins, loss type of deal and whatnot. But for myself personally, his run as champion hasn't been... Uh, what I wanted, which makes me want to see Adam Page as champion that much more, as weird as that might sound. Uh, but yeah, I probably rambled on for a little longer than I should. Uh, if you watch AEW consistently, like every week, every other week, here and there type of deal, let me know your thoughts on Adam Page down in the comments below. While you are down there, I hope you guys like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. More importantly than any of that, I hope you guys are doing okay mentally, emotionally, and physically. Just cross the line like I'm playing offside I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die I feel like I'm just lying to myself But it's real to me, it's real to me, yeah Living in a world that we tend to make up It's nothing but a fantasy until you wake up I feel like I'm just lying to myself